From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports on Demand for Friday the 13th of April 2018. The NMU women's lacrosse team entertained Davenport last night looking for its first conference victory. Emily Dvorak put NMU on the board for the second time in the first half. A 2-0 lead for the Wildcats. A short time later, Ellie Barr with the goal to make it 3-0. She had four on the night. To the second half, Wildcats up one, but here come the Panthers. Ryan Duell, one of her four goals, that tied the contest at 12. But the Wildcats stood their ground. The Vorak would end up with six goals. That gave NMU a 14-13 lead. They were able to hang on to win 17-16 despite two Panther goals in the last minute. The Wildcats get their first conference victory in program history. You know, it feels good. They've worked super hard to get here, and, you know, it's really hard to get that first conference win, and hopefully now, you know, we can carry that through. We've got a tough four-game stretch with, you know, the top half of the conference um, and stuff, but hopefully, you know, they enjoy this. Uh, we can carry it forth for these four games, but more so in the next season. Yeah, it's just so exciting because all these games have been such, like, a score difference, but we really, like, didn't focus on the score, and we went back and forth, had even playing time on both sides, so... We're just going through with it, hoping for the best the rest of the season. Ready, ready, right here, right here, right here. The Wildcats are back in action next Friday at Grand Valley State. Bad news, the Lakers lost to Indianapolis, so they won't be in a good mood for that one. Hermansville gold medal basketball, Class D semifinal, juice promotions with the basketball, Iron River Shamco, light, light, light in the contest. That's Carney Nato coach Jake Polfis for three. With 1.5 seconds to go, he knocks it down to give Juice Promotions a three-point lead. Shamco would not be able to connect on the inbound pass, and Juice Promotions won the champion or the semifinal game with a 79-76 score. Meanwhile, Juice Promotions, most of them stayed on the court for the Class A tournament opener against Drifters Restaurant of Escanaba. That was Gladstone's Joe Gibbs for Drifters, most of their players from Bay College. Kobe Barnes casually knocks down the jump shot. He had 13. We're tied at 63. Then Brasante Smith, the Menominee's Marcus McKinney for three. He had 15. Escanaba and Drifters with a 66-63 lead, less than four minutes to go. But off the miss, Juice Promotions going to work. Iron Mountain Athletic Director Joey Pontbrand with the uh, cherry-picking basket. Menominee's Jason Boucher will put this one in. He had 23. Juice Promotions won this game as well, 76 to 67. The Western Collegiate Hockey Association has recognized Michigan Tech and Northern Michigan for reaching the WCHA championship game by naming three Huskies and two Wildcats as the final players of the month for this past season. NMU's Troy Loggins and Tech's Jake Lucini share the Offensive Player of the Month honor. Loggins tied the lead with six goals, two game winners, both in game threes, by the way. And he also had four assists. Michigan Tech's Lucini tied for second in the league with 10 postseason points, scoring three goals and seven assists. He had a plus five rating as well. NMU's Phil Ballou, Defensive Player of the Month, 11 points, two goals, nine assists. He ranked third in the league with a plus seven and had six block shots. Patrick Munson took over in the Tech Net prior to game two of a semifinal round series at Minnesota State and did very well over the next four contests going into the NCAA tournament. He had a 9.95 save percentage and a 1.55 goals against average. And Huskies defenseman Seamus Donnie, who excelled on both ends of the ice, led the rookies with a plus six rating, a one, goal, a one game winning goal, and 12 block shots during the month. It's possible and maybe even probable that North Central's eight-man varsity football coach Kevin Belfi will not be back to lead the Jets next season. He has a 72-54 and overall record between 8- and 11-man football. He's 32-3 and the past three seasons, 6-3 and last year, and 26-0 and as part of the Jets' state titles in 2015 and 2016. According to Escanaba Daily Press sports editor Mike Madsen, Belfi was recommended by the Jets Athletic Personal Personnel Committee, but the school board late last month tied at three with one member absent on a motion to keep Belfie in that position. Coaches must reapply at North Central each year. 
Athletic Director Tony Adams says the varsity football job was posted to the public and open for applications through today. There is a meeting next Wednesday at 6.30 Central Time at the Media Center at the school in which a replacement is supposed to be named. Nagani High School grad Tyler Jandron continues to set baseball records at Northwood University in Midland. Jandron became the Timberwolves' all-time winning as pitcher yesterday in a 2-1 win over Davenport. Jandron won his 19th game, breaking the mark of 18 set by Trent Mulder more than a decade ago. Jandron, remember, started his career at Wisconsin Parkside before transferring to the Timberwolves. He's 19-2 in two years, 7-1 this season. Troy Matson has added a couple players to his roster for next season. Andrea Perez is from Madrid, Spain, where she's been averaging more than 20 points, nearly seven rebounds, and nearly five assists per game for her team, Rivas Parque Sereste. She helped guide the team to a second place finish at the Madrid State Under 18 Championships and eighth place in the Spanish National Under 18 Championships. She is a 5'10 guard. CC Rapp is a six foot five transfer from Division II Lindenwood University out of St. Charles, Missouri. Originally from St. Charles, Illinois, Rapp played two seasons for the Lions, starting 15 games a couple years ago. She led the team and finished fourth in the Mid-America Intercollegiate Athletic Conference with 33 blocks. NFL news real quickly. The Dallas Cowboys have released wide receiver Dez Bryant. The Oakland Raiders have let go of outstanding kicker Sebastian Janikowski. So all kinds of uh, moves taking place in the month of April.